along with Brian Earp, a science and philosophy researcher at Oxford University. Yeah, I see at least two separate issues here. One is there's the question of the science, which is uh, a matter of great debate. There's a lot of speculation within the field of evolutionary biology, evolutionary psychology, and on the relationship between genes and higher level traits and behaviors. So the science is one question, and I could talk about some of the complexity there. But I think there's a further question, which is somewhat separate from that, and that's what are the implications of science for social discussion? And I think one fear people have is that uh, if, if it could be determined that there was somehow choice in a person's sexual preference, that that would undermine arguments about uh, protecting gays because they can't choose otherwise. So you, you often hear this argument, well, gayness has a genetic basis, therefore it can't be chosen, therefore you can't discriminate against a person who's gay because they can't have chosen to be otherwise. And I think this is a, a big mistake for people to argue in this way.